Mass poisonings and our kids are paying the price. This is a war against America by the Chinese Communist Party. In this special report, we look at how fentanyl is making its way into counterfeit prescription drugs and candy. How the Chinese regime has turned pills into weapons of mass destruction and what concerned citizens can do. Welcome to China in Focus. I'm Tiffany Meyer. From prescription drugs to the most popular Halloween candy, the Chinese regime has found a way to turn these into poison. We've never seen in the history of this country the amount of dead kids and dead Americans from this poison. We've never had this happen in the history of America where so many people are being poisoned by substances that are created in labs, made in labs outside the U.S. The CDC notes the number of deaths skyrocketed up to over 100,000 in 2021. That's the highest ever recorded in one year. It translates into one death roughly every five minutes. It's gotten so bad that these deaths are now relabeled. We don't call them overdoses now. We call them poisonings. And there's mass poisonings all over the country. And over 70 percent of them involve fentanyl. Fentanyl is a synthetic opioid that's 50 times more potent than heroin. As for how deadly it can be... It is highly, highly deadly in the sense of a very small amount. We're talking about your, your, your pinky nail of your finger. The small amount of dose is so powerful. That's former ICE Special Agent Victor Avila. He notes it's so addictive, you don't even have to take a fentanyl-laced pill to feel the effects. Also, our first responders, a lot of them have been uh, exposed to it by absorbing it or by touching it. And sometimes that'll make them go into a relapse of an overdose. And so we have a lot of issues with our first responders being very alert as to uh, when they come in contact with it. Given just how strong these pills are, there's a new culprit in town that's helping conceal it. And it's called Rainbow Fentanyl. Derek Maltz, former Drug Enforcement Administration special agent in charge, explains. We just had a seizure up in Hartford, Connecticut. It was the DEA task force. They seized 15,000 pills, fake pills of fentanyl, but they were actually in boxes of Nerds and Skittles, which are two of the most popular candies around Halloween. So they're, they're putting it in the packaging doesn't mean they're going to sell it to kids, but they're, they're trying to move their drugs without getting caught. But unfortunately, those packages could be left around in a house and some kid innocently picks it up and starts trying to eat the candy and it's deadly fentanyl. So we've had plenty of kids in America dying in their houses. One concern is with Halloween coming up. They're sending these pills in these rainbow colored candy looking like uh, uh, pills that will attract any child to take. But that's not all. Maltz notes it's more than just candy fentanyl is hiding in. They're also making little chunks of chalk. It looks like sidewalk chalk, but it's fentanyl. It's like colored, it looks like colored ch uh, chalk. It's blocks, you know? And so kids can inadvertently pick that stuff up too. So it's becoming very dangerous. Why is fentanyl being found in candy and chalk? Avila says it's the cartels expanding their market. Very, very uh, alarming to know that your child can take a piece of candy that is counterfeit by the cartels through the help of China, and it is a fentanyl pill that could possibly cause them death. Maltz adds it's all part of a marketing strategy. But now what's happening is the Mexican cartels have implemented a strategic and deceptive marketing campaign looking to drive addiction and drive profits. And they're going after the kids because the kids are obsessed with their smartphones and they're operating on the social media apps all day. And now it's become very easy to buy these pills online and you get them delivered right to your house. And there's many cases around America where kids are found in the bedrooms, blue in the face, dead. The Drug Enforcement Administration recently issued a warning about these pills called One Pill Can Kill. And he notes the recent trend in victims is only getting younger. And unfortunately, a lot of young Americans are dying 
as young as 12 or 13 years old because they're able to buy this stuff now online. The pills are very popular because in America, you know, pills are, you know, thought about as like a drug from the doctor. That's a very important drug. If you have anxiety, you take Xanax. If you have attention deficit disorder, you take Adderall. If you have pain, you take some Oxy or Percocet. He also cites how easy it is to buy the pills from social media and how it's led to an increase in America's youth buying laced pills. But if it's prescribed by the doctor, that's cool. If you're getting it from Walgreens and CVS, that's good. But if you're buying it online, most likely it's fentanyl and it will kill you. Back to the rainbow fentanyl, does the color make a difference? But it's all the same stuff. In this case, it's deadly poison coming from Mexican labs run by primarily two cartels south of the border, the Sinaloa cartel and the cartel Jalisco New Generation which is basically the two most powerful drug cartels. And I don't even want to call them drug cartels anymore because they're terrorist organizations that are selling this poison, not only in America, but in other parts of the world. Now, as for where these pills are coming from, Maltz notes. The majority of the fake pills are being produced in Mexico, in Canada, and also in the United States. In many cases, the Mexican cartels will just produce a powdery substance that's fentanyl. They will send the fentanyl powdery substance into America, and then American kids are buying pill presses online, and they're making their own fake pills in their houses throughout this country. But Mexico isn't doing it alone. Those cartels are getting help from a country thousands of miles away. China definitely helping them with the precursors and the chemicals. And as, as of late, I've heard that China is even bringing in the counterfeit, counterfeit pills already ready to be distributed already from China. And so uh, China is even helping in that sense that not even the cartels have to produce it in Mexico. Um, they will bring it in ready to go and uh, give it to the cartels to distribute through the channels. Experts note it's important to keep an eye on what's happening in neighboring countries because it has a direct impact on Americans' daily lives. That's the source, uh, you know, 95% of the fentanyl is coming through our southern border. And because of the conditions that we have in this open border uh, policy under this administration, it is coming through. You are seeing record numbers of seizures of fentanyl. But that, uh, although those seizures are great, it's only an indication of how much is actually pouring into the country. But Avila notes, with the open border and the leer of profits, we're now seeing something unprecedented, human and drug traffickers working together. The human smuggling uh, of the individuals and the drugs was always very separate. Uh, when I worked, the, you know, I worked the border for 20 years, and those were very separate entities. It was the drug cartels dealing with their drugs and the human smugglers separate dealing with the humans. Well, now the cartels have taken over all of it. They've noticed how much it is, uh, how much money there is in smuggling these individuals, plus some of it into human trafficking conditions where they turn into the human smuggling into exploitation uh, purposes of, the, of these individuals. Um, in some cases, absolutely, they're using the illegal aliens to transport those drugs. But experts note something even more concerning. Fentanyl isn't the most deadly. There's something else coming across the border. New synthetic opioids that make fentanyl seem weak in comparison. Adenitazine, isonitazine, they're very powerful synthetic opioids. Actually, they're um, 10 to 20 times more powerful than fentanyl. It's important to keep in mind that fentanyl is already 50 times more potent than heroin and up to 100 times more potent than morphine. But what's the motive driving all this? It all comes down to money. But over the last four, five, six years, we started seeing the emergence of Chinese nationals in America who were picking up millions and millions of dollars in cash and laundering the money for the drug cartels. And they've created a way more effective and efficient system to get the cartels what they need quickly. They have trade-based money laundering schemes. They're using encrypted apps, WeChat, WeChat Pay. They're using their bank accounts in China to move money back and forth after they get cash here in America. The sad part is you have all these, uh, not all, but we have many Chinese national students coming into America on visas 
that are actually being used to pick up money and deliver money to Chinese businessmen. So it's really, really getting worse. And there's not a lot of reports. But there was a report last month about how the Chinese Communist Party are buying billions of dollars worth of land, real estate, and property in America. And then if you look at some of the other stats, the majority of those purchases are in cash. That's all for today's China in Focus on YouTube. We're now sharing a shortened version of our program here after being demonetized for more than a year. Here's what's coming up in our second half. Chinese people are buying up land and real estate in the U.S. And most of the purchases are paid in cash. But Beijing doesn't allow Chinese citizens to move more than $50,000 of cash out of the country. So where's all this money coming from? In our second half of our special report, experts break down how money laundering comes into play and what can be done to stop it. The full episode is available on our partner platform, Epoch TV. To sign up, click the link down below. Thanks for watching China in Focus. I'm Tiffany Meyer. See you tomorrow. Shen Yun Creations, the streaming platform from Shen Yun, featuring world class dance, past programs, and all original music. Master classes, behind the scenes, comedy, and more. Explore Shenyuncreations.com.